I'm not trying to keep making videos about Netflix, but Netflix just keeps giving me a reason to make videos on them. Hello everyone, it's me, Anne Aldis, back with another video, and yes, we are back on the couch, but probably for only one or two videos, because um, I'm back home and I got a camera right here, so don't get used to it. Hopefully in a day or two we'll be back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> It does feel nice to be back on the couch though. So, new camera, new mic, let's do this. So today we're gonna be talking about The Wicker, a TV show on Netflix that's probably one of their mo one of their more popular ones and their well done ones next to Stranger Things and Arc Arcane, I think it's called. And it is a show based off a franchise of games as well as books. It has a huge fandom, a huge community, and it's being starred by a very beloved actor who not only loves the role, but also loves the franchise it's all based on. He's a huge gamer, so he's very popular in the gaming community. And so it's no surprise that a lot of people liked Henry Cavill for the main role of The Wicker. I personally have never seen the show because I don't have Netflix. A show I would watch if I did have Netflix, but I don't. And a show that I know many of my friends and just fans all together watch and have nothing good have nothing but good things to say about it. And season four, it's on its way to be released, which we recently have found out is not going to be starring the original actor. Instead, the new role for this lead is going to be Liam Hensworth. Yeah, <laughs> I was not expecting that either. Obviously, I'm not going to like judge the guy or, or anything of the role because I have never seen him in the role yet. So th unfortunately, he has faced a lot of backlash from a lot of uh, fans and just people in general just because of that, which I don't think it's okay because, once again, we don't know how he's going to be in the role itself. I think we should wait until, you know, the season actually comes out. But also now I think the biggest thing is the speculation like on why the, he, uh, the original actor dropped the role. Because at this current moment, at the time that I'm recording this, no one knows actually. There's been theories, there have been speculations. Some people say it's because he had to choose between continuing the Wicker show or going back to DC and playing Superman for some of the upcoming DC movies coming out. Some say it was because of creative uh, freedom with the character itself. Some people say it's just because Netflix have just gone on drain, so it's better if he gets out before it does. Some people made videos saying because the show is woke or whatever cringe stuff they can come up with. Just a lot of speculation going on because there hasn't been like an official statement of why he dropped the rule to begin with. Now, some people have pointed out their tweets of some old interviews and some articles where the original actor was talking about, well, him wanting to, uh, in him, ex of him being excited for it, like a seven season plan of the show, which did not age very well at all. But he, but he wanted to continue the show under one condition, something that other articles that people have pointed out since the announcement of him dropping the role came out, is that he wanted the character and the show to stay loyal to the original books. And this was something that I, from sources or from rumors, is that this was something that they were very hard on because there are a lot of differences from the show to the books. Things, uh, P list is a big list that some people even has come out to point out because there is a lot of differences. And even saying that the writers and the, some of the writers and the producers have actually been caught mocking the original work. So... <laughs> Basically, showing evidence that the one con condition that the actor wanted was not being met and just decided, you know what? I'm done. I'm out. I am This is it. You know, just keep going to do one thing for me. So I'm out because this was kind of a case where he felt like he couldn't adjust to the character or he couldn't connect to it with the restriction of this creativity that he wanted to put onto it or just something that was uh, being robbed of the character since they were changing a lot of it. Now, uh, some of the older fans say we're kind of on the side that this might be more or less the case of why he left the role and saying that it's never, you know, the typical like hating when shows, you know, change things from books, from the books and stuff. Some of the newer fans are kind of saying, you know, it's always to be open-minded and to be under, you know, that it's not always a bad thing to try new things. 
and that, you know, there's maybe more that's going on or regardless of that, this was the case, you know, it shouldn't have been made to such a big deal because sometimes producers have different ideas, different ideas that may work and should be given a chance. And then, of course, some people point out the scheduling conflicts that he would have doing The Wicker for Netflix as well as playing Superman for DC and just could have been a case where he had to choose one or the other and decided to choose Superman. And this is a case very similar to when the Bayonetta incident came up is that no one really like knows because it can go both ways. It could be from personal life schedule conflicts or it could be corporation producers, Netflix just getting in the way of someone's creative freedom and deciding that they no longer wanted to keep struggling with it, even though they enjoyed the character a lot. Because he really did love playing this role and wish the best of luck to Liam Hemsworth to continue it. But he did seem very passionate about it, but it just could be the case that he just couldn't handle or did not want to deal with the stress that he was dealing with when it came to being the character he wanted. So it is a case where it can go both ways, but at the time of me recording this, there has not been in like an official statement or an official reason of why he left it. So I, it is hard. I, I don't, I don't really want to say like which way I lean towards to, because it is very similar to the Baronetta incident is that it could have, it could go both ways and Maybe we'll figure out more down the road, something else. We just will kind of need more or a th- like something to actually come out that'd be like, okay, yes, this is the reason. <laughs> and it also shows that Netflix just can't get a fucking break because we have 699 scandal plan that no one liked and no one has been into at all. And now we have a show that one of their, definitely one of their most popular shows now losing their lead and people not happy on Netflix for that. So Netflix, <laughs> you really got to figure, your, you really got to get your shit together and figure something out because you, you just, just, just things keep happening to you. <laughs> yeah, but I guess we'll see how it goes. Uh, Liam Hemsworth got some big shoes to fill, but I guess it also depends if the fans are going to give him a chance to fill them. And with that being said, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. I post videos as often as I can, and hopefully in the next coming days, we'll get started on Sonic Forces, a game that I'm really excited to play for the channel. Not because I think the game's good, but I think I'll have a good time uh, actually beating it for you guys. And with that being... And... (laughs) Great. And as always, till next time. Bye-bye!